Hello everybody, it is me, Gaming Age, and today I want to celebrate the fact that we hit 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, give it up, it's me, the Gaming Age. So the first thing I want to address is the fact that my name is, as of right now, Old Men Gaming. The explanation for that is that there's an inside joke in the Posture Discord server that I am Old Men Gaming. There's a whole story behind it. But I don't feel like getting into it right now. But I promised that on 1,000 subs, I'd do a Q&A video. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. So to get things out of the way, there were a lot of questions that come from a lot of the same people. So I want to go ahead and say that. So if you see names come up and repeatedly come up, that's why I took multiple questions from multiple people. And if there's any other questions that you would like the answer to, I'll I'll consider answering it. So without further ado, here we go. Our first question comes from Kleiner Studios, which reads, how good do you think Postra's old ARGs are regarding a happy place and someone normal? Well, me personally, a happy place and someone normal, they had potential, but seeing as they are unfinished ARGs, they didn't really get to kind of go in that direction of being fully completed. Our next question comes from, well, Fishy, And his question reads, do you think that you are going to be covering any other ARGs besides Postra, seeing as you seem to like doing ARG content? Well, I plan on doing so, but it's only if an ARG pops up and actually gives me something to be truly interested in. Um, seeing as my channel is gaming age i'll probably focus more on doing gaming than arg content but that's to be determined basically our next question comes from egg sandwich animated and it says what is your favorite game at the moment as of right now my favorite game has a tie between sekiro shadows die twice and persona 4 golden um two completely different games but amazing games nonetheless our next question comes from Moon Pizza and it reads, do you like chocolate? Yes, my favorite candy bar is Kit Kats. Our final question from the YouTube side is someone who I believe is new to the community and their name is Dragonfire. Their question reads, I don't know if this is where the Q&A questions go. It's fine. Um, what are your favorite colors and flag design? Personally, for me, I like multiple stripes, kind of similarly to the pride flag. And my favorite colors, if I had to pick two, it would have to be dark blue and dark green and maybe even purple, depending on how I'm feeling that day. Our next question comes from Luigi Gamer and their question reads, why did you start making content? Um, this one's going to be kind of a long answer, so bear with me. Ever since I was younger, I, my first memory of wanting to make content was back when I was around seven or eight years old. And what I would do is I would take my grandmother's old laptop and I would sit it on a rocking chair in front of my box TV while I was playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I got to the point where I started growing a fan base and then some stuff happened and I had to delete that channel but I've always wanted to make content for as long as I can remember. Finally, when I was in college, which was this past year, I decided I wanted to start streaming because it seemed like something that w I'd be interested in. And then I did, and I started growing a little fan base. And ever since I, I've started getting better at editing, getting better at doing commentating, stuff like that. And I mean, as of, now I have a thousand subscribers and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Our next few questions are going to be coming from Luigi Gamer and their next question reads, do you watch anime? And if so, what's your favorite one? I think if you've seen the background of my room, that might be an easy question to answer. But my favorite anime of all time is Dragon Ball Z. I grew up with it. It was my first anime and it stands to be my favorite. Our next question is, what's your favorite game right now? As I said, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice or Persona 4 Golden. Our next question is a bit of a joke question, but it's, if the grass is purple and Coco Melon rules the world, who is God that sleeps on the morning of the noon of Wednesday last December? The answer to that is September. 
Our next question is what game do you want to play for the channel? And do you think you'll do another stream where we do songs on Beat Saber? So if you don't know what this question is asking about, basically a few months back, I did a stream where I did a FNAF variety hour. In this stream, I played a bunch of FNAF fan games and even did FNAF songs in Beat Saber. The problem with doing Beat Saber content on YouTube, however, is that copyright can get a bit risky, to say the least. It's kind of saddening, but that is the reality of this platform as a whole. I would like to do another Beat Saber stream, but it would not be on YouTube if I did. Our next question is, do you want to do a crossover with a YouTuber? And if so, which one? I would honestly love to do a collaboration with Postra. That would be amazing, but we can only see what happens as the time goes by. Our next question is, could Goku beat Saitama? The answer to that is yes. And which YouTuber inspires you to do content? I was in a bit of a slump between the time where I was streaming daily and, well, as of the Postra content. But then Posture began to start doing their ARG stuff with Lankman. And honestly, it gave me this feeling of I want to make content again like I had never felt before. And so I did. I started making content again and here we are at a thousand subscribers. And that is it for Luigi Gamer's line of interrogation. Now we have Beyond GT's questions in the Discord server. And their first question is, how did you find the Posture ARG? The way I found the Posture ARG was the fact that I had been watching their videos for quite a while. Like we're talking, I discovered their first video days after finishing FNAF 3. And so obviously I was intrigued, started watching their content and it kind of led up to this point. Our next question is any plans to join any new ARGs? As I said, I would like to, but they really have to hit that intriguing spot in the back of my mind. And also a lot of ARGs these days have become code fests where you have to, you know, frame by frame decode and stuff like that. Not a big fan of all the decoding, but if an interesting one does hit, I'll be sure to do something about it. Beyond GT also asks to add to the previous one about my favorite anime. What's my least favorite anime? My least favorite anime is Soul Eater Not, mainly because it does not have anything to do with Soul Eater in the slightest, and it is an abomination for that. And our next question to get my mind resting easy. Do I know the way? The answer to this is yes, my brother. I do know the way. Our next question is from all the current media you've seen, what's your favorite character? That's honestly a very difficult question to answer, but in all media that I've played, it's got to be Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. The growth of that character goes through from the first time you meet him in the Saiyan saga to the end of the Majin Buu arc where he's come to terms with the fact that Goku is stronger than him. Something about like that whole character arc is just amazing to me. And with that, that is the end of Beyond GT's line of interrogation. Wonderful. Our next question is from someone who helped me build this channel from the ground up, and that is Mr. Ingles. And his question is, your mother's back fat? Indeed, my mother's back fat. Mustachio asks, best waifu, favorite anime, favorite anime, favorite anime, Dragon Ball Z, best waifu, Natsuki. Azul asks, will you make your own ARG? The answer to that is no comment. And finally, last but not least, from Kumi, do you know who Leon from Pokemon is? The answer to this is no. So with that being said, it wasn't a long list of questions, but I did at least want to answer some questions that you guys out there had for me. So that's what I did. I also promised a Q&A. And with the release of this video, which will be probably as soon as possible as I can get it, I'm going to be streaming on Saturday, August uh, 27th at 12 noon CST. Uh, you can do the conversion on your own. Sorry, um, but I'll be doing a stream where I play a bunch of different games. Haven't come to conclusion what games I'm going to play yet, but suffice to say, I'm going to be streaming to celebrate 1K 
for a bit longer so with that being said have a good day night or afternoon and stay safe i'll see you in the next one